Shalom, when it begins, listen by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh Shah, Waha Raka Kodash, which in the ancient Hebrew tongue would be the correct names of the Heavenly Father's beloved Son and the Holy Spirit. Also, would like to give double honors to my teachers, the head apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Much due honors and respect to the sense of brethren out there that's also laboring in his work. And as always, want to say Shalom to the believers. You know the Akim as well as the Akwaf, which will be you brothers along with the sisters that subscribe to this truth as well. So yeah, just wanted to go into another quick lesson. You know it's touching the times and seasons that we're in, which will be the season of Esau. And Esau being the biblical term, if you will, best suited when describing the so-called white man who would be the progenitor of the modern-day so-called white race, whose nationality, according to the Bible, would be the Edomites, where well, this would be his season, which when you go into the idea of seasons as it relates to the Bible, and in particular in the book of Daniel, the second chapter, where well, seasons are interchangeable with the rise and fall of kingdoms and empires. And just like seasons, as sudden as the fall spills over into the winter, and the winter into the spring, and the spring into the summer, well, it's no different as it relates to rulerships and the suddenness that comes with the rise and fall of kingdoms. And this is what you're witnessing. The sudden fall of the so-called white man, now with that established, according to the prophetic sayings found within the Holy Scriptures, this fall will provoke this man to rise up against the children of Israel and pretty much wage war against you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And this is nothing to gloss over, seeing that this man has been given the power, you know, through his technology.